slow revenue growth for Massachusetts is expected to continue through next year. And 22 News State House reporter Olivia Ray explains how state leadership plans to fix this deficit. The Healy administration's top budget official says Massachusetts' recent trend of slow revenue growth is likely to continue over the next year. The top budget official, Matthew Gorkowitz, met with some of the state's top business leaders on Thursday. The fiscal year runs from July 1st to June 30th, and Gorkowitz says the state will have, quote, some unavoidable deficiencies they will have to address later in the year. During fiscal year 2024, non-surtax revenue was hundreds of millions of dollars less than expected. At the event, Gorkowitz saying the state is preparing for this trend to continue. While that non-surtax revenue was down last fiscal year, surtax revenue, also known as the millionaire's tax, was higher than expected. The Healy administration is pushing to redirect some of that surtax revenue to strategically plug last year's short fall. This method of catching up on money shortages is intended to prevent money designated for initiatives like education and transportation from having to be used to bail the state out. The administration is also looking to revive a state savings account which is currently running low due to huge expenditures on the emergency shelter system. Keeping this fund full helps ensure that Massachusetts' bond rating is high, which allows the state to finance our school systems, roads, transportation system, and more. Despite the predicted underperformance of tax collection, the budget official says Massachusetts has reason to be, quote, cautiously optimistic about where we're going. Working for you from the State House in Boston, I'm Olivia Ray, 22 News.